Hi guys, welcome to part two of episode 26 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. We are back with Angela and Dustin after they have just tried for baby, which I'm really excited about. But before we get started um, playing them again, I would like to talk about a major change that I'm making in my economy. And I'm going to slow this down because I'm afraid they're going to wake up. So previously, I had set my college tuition to 20,000 simoleons, 5,000 per semester, and I'm finding this to be overwhelming for my sims. Um, I realized that Angela and Dustin have almost 40,000 in student loans together, and they're never going to get anywhere in their lives with that kind of debt. So a new law has been passed in SimCity that also affects Pleasant View and surrounding suburbs that college education is now completely free for my sims. I'm not going to charge them for college education anymore. That is over and all current student loans are going to be forgiven as well. And the way that I'm going to do that, it's going to be super easy. I'm just going to delete these loan jars and be done with it. Um, it's over. It's all over. Loans are gone. Loans are done. They no longer have student loans. So now, whenever they go to college, I don't want to make things too hard on them. I wanted to make things a little bit harder, but I already use no 20k handout, and that makes life pretty tough for my sims. So that, I think, is going to be the extent of it. And they will still have to pay the bills that they get whenever they're in college, and that's sort of like the room and board fee, but the tuition is going to be free from now on. Secondly... I have made another change and that is my sims no longer are going to be taking out loans for mortgages and cars. They still will have to take out loans for their taxes if they can't pay their taxes, but that's it. I'm finding the whole loan situation to be a huge pain in my butt and it's just making things more difficult and less fun for me personally. So I'm going to keep my taxes system for now and there, everybody still has to pay taxes and if they can't pay their taxes they'll take out a loan and that's it. That's it. If they can't afford to buy a house, they can't get a house. If they can't afford to buy a car, they can't have a car. And I'm just doing this for their own good, basically. It's going to make things easier on them, and it's going to make it more fun and easier for me, because I don't have to keep up with all these payments. And I've just, you know, this is the first time that I've tried, oh, Dustin has to get up and go to work, that I've tried this system, and I'm just really not liking it at all. But I don't want to make things too easy on my Sims either, so I like keeping the taxes. And those are my thoughts, so tell me if you have any thoughts on this in the comments. Let me know how you feel about it. How do you play your game? Do you have, do you charge your sims for college? Do you make them pay taxes? Um, what do you do? And maybe you'll inspire me. But right now I'm getting rid of all student loans. College is now free except for bills. And I'm also getting rid of the whole loan and mortgage system. Now this does pose a problem because the Burbs took out a pretty hefty mortgage to buy their house and I haven't 100% figured out what I'm going to do about that. I might let, just let them have forgiveness of their mortgage, but that feels kind of wrong to me too, so I don't know. I'm going to think about that and we'll get to that when we play the Burbs next time. Okay, thanks for listening to me prattle on and on about my economy. Now that I've got that out of the way... Um, we can start playing Dustin and Angela, and now that we don't have to worry about student loans, let's see how much money they have. They have 7200 in their bank account, and they have 400 here, so they have about 7600 That is almost enough to buy a like crappy trailer or house, and since they're trying for baby, I really don't want to stick them in a one-bedroom apartment. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, work on getting them a promotion. Let's see, Dustin wants to gain a mechanical skill, and that would get him a promotion, and then he would get a nice big bonus. That would put them a little bit closer. Um, I think they need about nine or 10000 so they don't have very far to go to get their house. So we're just going to hang in there for another day or two, and then probably move them on Sunday evening. Angela goes to work today, too. She's not even close to getting a promotion, but at least she'll bring in 180 more simoleons. The adventurer crew does not pay very well in the early levels. So I just heard this puking sound, and it looks like Angela just ran into the bathroom to puke. I think we have a pregnancy, guys. 
Oh, she's totally sick. She's totally pregnant. Wow, that was like super fast compared to some of my older Sims where it takes them forever to get pregnant. She got pregnant on her first try. So we're just going to wait around for her baby bump. I am so excited about this. Oh, and now she's going to go attack Lilith. Angela, don't be starting fights now. You're going to be pregnant. This is just a terrible environment for you. Aw, poor Lilith. It's like, I love both of the twins, but together they are a disaster. They're just awful. Angela and Lilith just got in a fight, and Angela won. And then Angela got the little, uh, I'm wondering if I'm pregnant, thought bubble. So we definitely have a pregnancy here. Oh my gosh, Lilith, please stop. Please leave her alone. She's totally pregnant now. Look at her comfort. I'm going to send her up to her room so she can be alone. Lilith can't come in there. She's getting a phone call, actually. Let's see who's going to call. Wow, they're reaching into the dresser to answer the phone when it's up there. This person keeps calling Angela, this Chris Olson. I really don't remember who that is. I don't know if she met him in college or somewhere else. He doesn't look familiar to me. She became friends with her mother. And I think it's because they went to uh, a party at the Burbs house. And they were getting along really well there. So I'm happy about that. At least one of them can have a good relationship with Mary Sue. She needs to relax for a while. And she has to go to work tonight at 3. And while she was relaxing, I got a pop-up that the landlord is hosting a weekend apartment gathering. Why not drop by and have fun with the neighbors? <laughs> if you call getting your butt kicked by your twin sisters fun... Sister, not sisters. Um, but it looks like he ordered some pizza, and she is hungry, so I'll probably send her down for some pizza as soon as it gets in here. Where is he taking this pizza? <laughs> Lilith is schmoozing the landlord. Oh, she doesn't have time for pizza now. She's got to go to work in an hour. Put the pizza down, dude. Alright, well, she's just going to come get some pancakes then. I don't think she's even going to make it. Come on. He's just carrying the pizza box around. He doesn't know what to do with it. This is a very bad lot for having a weekend gathering. What are you doing, dude? All right, now there's just a pizza in the hallway. And Lilith can't get to her room. I wonder if I can pick it up. I can. I'm going to put it downstairs on the... I can't put it anywhere, but I can put it in their room. <laughs> they totally just stole the pizza. They stole the neighborhood gathering pizza. <laughs> Dustin just came home. He owned, earned 614 simoleons. He needs to have some fun, and then I'm going to have him work on his mechanical skill. So he can hopefully get promoted tomorrow. Dustin gained his mechanical skill point, and... Angela, I mean, not Angela, Lila started a fight with Abjeet in the living room. So Dustin's watching that anxiously. Lilith's just, like, picking fights with people left and right. I don't know what her problem is. She doesn't get along with anybody, really, except for Dirk. Alright, looks like she kicked Abjeet's butt. Oh, and they're enemies now. Great, Lilith, make more enemies. That's all you need. Anyway, now Dustin uh, wants to get a promotion for his job, and it, he, his bar is maxed out, so he's definitely going to get a promotion tomorrow. And it's 6 p.m., so another day has passed by. Everybody's aged up. Dustin is 27, and Angela is 25. Angela's needs are going to be really bad when she gets home from work. Her comfort, hygiene, hunger, like everything. Oh, we've got roaches again, too. I'm just going to get Dustin to go outside and spray them. Hello, Frederick Guzman. 
Angela just got home from work and she called me over because she's about to get her first baby bump. Oh, her comfort and hygiene are all the way in the red. But we have a baby bump. Yay! She's been placed on maternity leave, which means she's not going to be getting any promotions to help out. And she's very stinky. Let's get her a shower and get her to bed. I don't know what time she actually got her baby bump, but we're not going to have a baby this round because she won't give birth until Monday, so that'll be the next round that we play them. Uh, we'll have a baby. That's kind of disappointing. I want I want to see the baby. Dustin, what are you doing? Dustin brought the pizza downstairs and served it and then passed out on the communal couch. I'm going to send him upstairs to bed. And while Dustin was at work, we got a chance card for him. Another transient Sherpa has wandered in through the hospital's emergency entrance with the llama. Both the Sherpa and the llama are screaming, and Dustin is able to understand neither of them. Dustin is the only one on duty right now. Should he examine the Sherpa or the llama? Um, let's go with the llama. Oh my gosh, awesome! He got 5,000 simoleons from that chance card. Dustin's no veterinarian, but even he can tell that this llama is sick. He immediately calls the animal hospital and asks a nearby paramedic to take the man and his llama there. A few hours later, an envelope arrives addressed to Dustin. It contains 5,000 simoleons and a simple note saying thank you. I cannot believe it. They needed that so badly now they can finally afford to get a house i was like really worried that they weren't going to be able to make it uh before monday morning but they totally did they've got six thousand here and they've got let's check hey mary sue's outside i'm gonna go greet her really quick and then i'm gonna check their money They've got 7,000 here and 6,000 here, so that's definitely enough to get a cheap starter house for them. And then Dustin's about to get promoted when he gets home, so they're going to have even more. Oh, Dustin, uh, Daniel and Mary Sue are here. This would be a good time to go tell your parents about the baby. And if Daniel hated Dustin before, he's really going to hate him now because he knocked Angela up and uh, they're not even married. <laughs> All right, go talk to your parents, Angela. What are you doing? They're here to see you. Just leave the trash alone. Leave the trash. Ha! Ah, why? Stop it. Leave the trash alone. Le just put it down. Just go talk to your mom. <laughs> Jeez. I think Daniel left. Tell her about the baby. They're best friends now. Awesome. All right. Dustin just got home, and he got a promotion. He is now an intern, and he brought home 751 simoleons and a bonus of 1877. I'm so excited. Um, he wants to gain some skill points, so I'm going to lock that in so he can start working on his next promotion. But now they have 8,800 here. Plus what they have in the bank. I'm going to have Dustin go and get that out. Oh, and also I still owe, owe Angela the 1021 And I figured out how I'm going to give it to her. I'm just going to use Kaching to give it to her. Okay. And I'm just going to charge her the 21 simoleons as like a processing fee. So I gave her a thousand. So now we're all up. We're all caught up on their finances. So they have 9,800 here. And let's go immediately and withdraw everything that they've got in the bank. Okay, now they've got 17000 That is more than enough to buy a house, but we're going to wait until after 6 p.m. or probably early Monday morning to move them. He's going to congratulate Angela, probably for the baby, but he stopped that interaction. She went outside to play catch with Mary Sue. He wants to tell her a dirty joke, and she's outside barefoot in the snow now. It's the middle of winter. Angela, get it together. You're pregnant here. 
Okay, I want Dustin to... Oh, she's going to be smooched by him. And I want him to rub her belly. That way I know that he understands there's going to be a baby coming. Aww. Alright, let's get Angela inside out of the snow in her bare feet before she gets a cold or something. Aw, Dustin and Mary Sue are hanging out. That's so sweet. I think Mary Sue is going to try to make an effort to get to know him better since, you know, he's going to be the father of her first grandchild. Oh, they're friends. To oh, no, that's Angela. Never mind. They're not friends. <laughs> they barely know each other at all. Strangely enough, Dustin is friends with Lilith somehow. I don't know how that's even possible. I'm sure Angela is not happy about that. He al he's also friends with Dirk and his brother Bo and Dawn. And we haven't seen Dawn in a while. It's got to be cold out here. They're just sitting out on the ground. Oh my gosh. Lilith, again. She's fighting with Abjeet again. Wow, smart investing has increased our family funds by 681 simoleons. Oh, and look, Dawn just called. All right, stop hanging out with your mother-in-law. Go upstairs and call Don. Talk to him. Okay, it's 6 p.m. on Sunday. Dustin is now 28 years old and Angela is 26. I'm going to play them through till the morning. Angela is probably just going to sleep. Um, Dustin might work on some skills or something. And then once they wake up in the morning, we are going to immediately move them out and into their own house. It's 10 p.m. and Angela is getting her second baby bump. So that means we're going to have a baby born Monday at 11 p.m. So it'll be next round. Uh, the first day of the next round that I play them, we'll get our little uh, baby broke. Okay, it's Monday at 5 a.m. I think this would be a good time for them to move out. So I'm going to go ahead and save here. And then I'm going to go back to the neighborhood screen. We're going to move them out and find them a new house. Dustin and Angela have looked at all the available real estate in Pleasant View, and they have decided to buy the Burbs old house, which is here at 95 Woodland Drive. I mean, it's only 12,000 simoleons, and that leaves enough money for them to still buy furniture and stuff. Um, they also could afford this condo over here, but it's just a one bedroom and they're not really looking to raise a family in the condo district. Um, this house here, they can't, aff well, they can afford it, but they wouldn't be able to buy any furniture. They'd only have like $1,300 left. That only leaves the trailers over here and Dustin kind of has bad memories of his childhood over in the trailer park and he wants to get away from that. He's trying to rise above that, I guess. So he's going to move, they're going to move over here into 95 Woodland Drive. And I'm going to move them in now. And this house is small, but neither of them are family sims. So I don't expect they'll have too many children. And they can stay here for a while while Dustin uh, works on his medical career. And there's plenty of room for the both of them and the new baby. Aw, they're kissing out in front. So here they are in their new house. It is very snowy out. It's winter time. And it looks like everything stayed behind um, using the mod that, whenever, that I used whenever I moved the burbs out. So everything worked and even the closet stayed. All right, so I'm going to use their remaining money. They have 5,400 simoleons left to decorate this house for them. And I'll be right back whenever I'm done with that. Okay, I finished decorating their house as best I could with the money that they had, and I tried to make the layout a little bit different than it was whenever the Burbs lived here, so it wouldn't feel like I was playing exactly the same lot. Um, I tried to make it more uh, suitable for Angela and Dustin, so I put their dining room here in this front area, and I'm going to make the living room back here behind the kitchen. And Angela's favorite color is purple, so I used purple throughout the front rooms. In the bedroom, I made their bedroom red because that's Dustin's favorite color. 
and then I just utilized the green that was already in the bathroom to decorate the bathroom and that's about all the money they had I didn't do anything this is gonna be the nursery so I didn't do anything in there um, I'm gonna wait until the baby's born and hopefully they'll have more money by then it's 8 13 a.m. on Monday morning so I guess this is gonna be the end of this episode and we won't get to see the little baby until the next round that just breaks my heart I want to see it so badly but I can't play them another day or their ages will be off compared to everyone else's they seem to be really enjoying their new home though <laughs> I want them to go inside go inside and look at your house go sit on your couch together So next round, we're going to have two babies born because Brandy Broke is also pregnant and due on next Monday. She liked the toilet. She was like, yes, it's an awesome toilet. And she's cleaning the tub. I guess I left the tub dirty. Well, that's it for Dustin and Angela. Um, they had quite a big week. Let's see. They got pregnant that's the biggest thing and Angela got promoted to level two in her career before she got pregnant um, Dustin also got promoted and I didn't even look to see oh that's right he's an intern he got promoted to intern he now makes 574 simoleons a day which isn't half bad they were able to save up enough money to buy their own home which luckily they got a 5,000 simoleon chance card or they wouldn't have been able to afford it and it worked out really well they got to get away from Lilith because she was tormenting Angela and Angela was tormenting her and they were just fighting all the time so that kind of sucked so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you want to know whenever I upload new videos and you can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, my gameplay rules. And I have updated my gameplay rules on the blog to reflect my new changes in the economy, including no um, student loans and all that stuff I talked about at the beginning of the video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you with the next episode very soon where we will be playing Lilith and Dirk.